Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to uh, some more Wheel of Gungeon with Mr. Rhapsody. Wheel of Gungeon races. Raps, how are you today? Incredibly good, yourself? Uh, dude, I'm doing, I'm doing real, real good. I'm doing real. Just real. <laughs> it's as real as it can get. Are you ready? Wheel, wheel, well. I am doing wheel, wheel, well. Are you ready for some uh, Wheel of Gungeon today, my dear friend? I am so goddamn ready for it. I have missed this. <laughs> a little, uh, little Gungeon blueprint to get you going on a, a nice whatever day it is afternoon. Oh, the wheel of blue right at the beginning for me. So maybe, my, maybe Gungeon blueprint's coming. Oh right, yeah, no, because it has blue in the name. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it, got it. I understand. I got wheel of blue as well, so could be <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit of uh, a little bit of duo action here i did not in fact get myself uh a gungeon blueprint sorry to hear about did you get yourself anything of value no i'll tell you as soon as the wheel of blue blows up <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, ice bomb no. okay yeah i got me a little uh shock rounds action Ooh, that's not bad. You, you also were just inside of like a tin can for a little bit. So that, that was cool as well. <laughs> Sorry, I looked off the side of the screen because I was trying to find myself a pencil so I can actually write these. Dude, I, the, I do the exact same thing. I'm always like, well, do I have any paper anywhere on my desk? And then it's just a matter of rummaging around trying to find it. I will be spawning a green <laughs> chest as my second thing. Okay. Well, I'll be tripping over to the wheel of shotguns to find more. Mmm, a couple of good ones in there. There's at least rap. Ooh, old Goldie off to the buff as well. Not bad, not bad. That is indeed a shotgun. I will not deny that. Mm hmm. I hope it is. Otherwise, it's uh, on the wrong <laughs> way. That, I mean, that is that is also true. Uh, I will be going over the wheel of God, so you better catch up. Huh. I will, because I'm going to the wheel of poop. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I also have what you consider to be a not Wheel of God gun in the strafe gun. Ooh, yeah, no, I hate the strafe gun. But to be fair, it's one of the items that I hate that people get mad at me for hating, rather than one of the items I hate that people are like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't I don't mind strafe gun. Uh it's not my favorite on the Wheel of God, but it's good yeah. enough. Like is is uh It'll do some good work for me on this one. So will the rainbow chest I've just rolled. So will hopefully the green chest again that I just rolled. That's two of those now. Are you on uh, spin number five here coming up? Uh, yes, I am. This is on the wheel of food. We will pick up. Oh, Brock. Nice. I'm on a familiar wheel. I got me a little chicken flute. Chicken flute is real good, yeah. I will accept it. <laughs> Spin numero six for me. Probably the worst wheel besides the wheel of poo poo. I'll give you a uh, mm. guess at what that wheel is. That's bows, right? That there. is That's... the wheel of bows. <laughs> and that is just a standard old bow that I am not going to use. This one is not on the line. It looks very close to on the line, but it's not on the line. I'm just telling the viewers, it was between frost bullets and battery bullets. I actually would have preferred battery bullets for the accuracy. So you got yourself some frost bullets, I'm guessing? Mm hmm yeah. They come. Could be worse, could be worse. I'm going back to the Wheel of Blue. You already know what we're looking for. There's actually a lot of good items on the Wheel of Blue, but... Mm hmm Got myself Mega Hand. Which is fine. It's Mega Hand is one of the most uh, like ammo conservative room clears in my opinion. It's like one of the best. Yeah, I I completely agree. Are you on item number eight? I am. This is the wheel of poo poo that I'm going to. Oh, that is not a great uh, number eight. This is actually, dude. This is a pretty rough, uh, rough one for both of us. I feel. Uh, I. 
I'm not so certain. So old Goldie is really, really good. The fact that since the after update, they upped like ammo drops and stuff like that, like you never really have ammo problems. Uh, so being able to fill the old Goldie constantly is pretty damn good. Having broccoli and two rainbow chests, yeah. I think I'm going to be able to build a run you're, with those. Yeah, you're, you're going to do just fine. I, I suppose I kind of forgot about the two rainbow chests that you got in there. Yeah. Um, I, I got Weird Egg as my final one, so that kind of kind of blows. But I think I, 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 you got a pretty good setup here. I am, uh, I am a tad bit afraid now. Are you ready to hear what character mm. you'll be playing as? I definitely am. All right, well, show me the money, show me the money. It's spinning, it's spinning. And uh, once again, apparently, it's the only character we play as. It's a robot run. Oh, hell yeah. So the fact that I didn't get battery bullets was actually fine, because I get it. Yeah. All right, well. Hell yeah. This is, uh, is going to be a long run for Tyler. We will see you guys in the game. Catch you then. And we are in the game. Each of us have loaded our items and in. Would you like to tell me what you found in your first green chest there? I awesome. have gotten the directional pad. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not overly content with it, but it is okay. It's not that bad. You can throw it away for another chance to get Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's just okay is what I'll say about it. What have you gotten out of your first rainbow chest, Rhapsody? <clears throat> My first rainbow chest? I got junk out of it for 5% damage up. <laughs> Are you serious? Yep, you actually I junked, both junked rainbow your rainbow chest. Both of them, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to open my other green one. I got myself the Void Marshal. And I should have junked both of these. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> Count us down and we'll get we'll get this show on the road. We are going to the bottom left, correct? Uh yes, yes. We cool, cool. Definitely. Uh five, four, three, go. Alright. So, so Yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. I I, I mean de describe fun, I think. Uh, uh well one of the first things I will say is this character, the robot that I'm currently playing has a unique interaction with Broccoli, where Broccoli has a 50% chance to prevent you from taking a hit if it's your last point of HP. And I have it on good authority that all points of the robot's HP are considered his last point. So, yeah, I'm gonna be really reckless. Yeah, which uh, does not bode well for me. It means that I have to have like pretty much damn near perfect mapping in order for me to uh, succeed here. If you are going to be going at the speed of light, 200 degrees, that's why they'll call you Mr. Fahrenheit. Um, and yeah. I I don't know. I, Me and mapping, we, we all know this by now. We're several episodes into the series. They are two things that do not often go very well together. So mm -hmm. we, we shall see. I suppose may the best man win. Uh, speaking of mapping, I found hey, the, the boss, so. Ooh, okay, so we're both in here. <laughs> oh, no. I thought I was, like, stupid ahead, and instead I am stupid. It's just all that. No, sorry, content. yeah, the par thing of this game, uh, it, it just gets stuck in your head, and you kind of have a sense. I mean, it's I, like when you I, don't I take all it. the adjacencies for a nice like, secret room, and you just know the secret room. Like, yeah. It's probably there. I mean, I'm used to that kind of mapping with Isaac as well, so that mm -hmm. that, that does make sense in the end. Uh, I think I'm going to take Meat Bun as one of my items, lol. Ooh, go for it. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Uh, Why? Uh, just, you know, curiosity's sake, it's really. so good, double damage. I mean, that just speeds you up for, yeah. like, oh. Meh. Yeah. Uh, so I just demonstrated on my screen where I took a hit and nothing happened because of the 50% chance for nothing to yeah. happen. It's a really, really fortunate thing to pick up. It's really rude is the word that I'm going to use, I think. It's just it's just quite rude. Although, I'm, I'm going to be honest, dude. I, I am hauling it on this run. 
I, I got I got okay. some stuff going for me. It means that I have to be like very, very flawless, which I haven't played Gungeon in like two weeks, so that that's not gonna happen, but mm -hmm. and immediately leapt into the robot character nonetheless. Yeah. I love Robot though. I still stand by, besides Paradox, uh, who I adore with a good passion. I think Robot's still probably my favorite character. Definitely, but, definitely, it has to be. It yeah. just has like the most uniqueness in this game. Yeah, and it's just like the extra damage is just fun. You know, it's one of those like mm -hmm. it, it might not be the best character, but it's just it's fun. So why would you not want to be playing as the fun guy? The funnest. I mean, it, it's also worth noting he kind of is maybe one of the best characters in this game with that damage modifier. And especially if you know, like, the average result of certain chests and can pretty liberally. Yeah. You can make huge use of that. The 50% damage up on damage up. Sorry, the accuracy up or rather weapon spread down on battery bullets is just ridiculous. Yeah. It's the only reason my shotgun is great. Because it just fires straight forward in a single... Which is not bad in the slightest. Uh, so I have taken a, a rainbow chest. And, Ooh, by rainbow che and by rainbow chest, I definitely meant red chest. Uh, but I still took a chest. Uh, I am not going to tell you what was in it, even though I guarantee you you're probably already like done with the second floor boss. Um, yeah. Are you seriously already done with the second floor boss? That is very, very alarming. Uh, I got brick of uh, cash, which is not said, at all what I wanted from from my red chest. But I don't know. Brick of cash can seriously get you ahead, especially because you sell it. It sells for gold items worth of money as well. Oh, sorry, a red items worth of. Money. All right. Well, see, I did not know that. So that's that's news to me. Mm, it's a fun one. I was able to buy a bunch of blanks that I will not need in this fight against uh, old, old Medusa, but I suppose that's kind of... you got to find something the... to do with your excess money, right? Yeah, and it's like kind of like, you know, it's not like I need keys, so I was kind of hoping for one of those like just straight carry items because I don't have yep. one of those straight carry items. I now have Gamma Ray, which I use to uh, kill kill her, but I don't know, right? Yeah, Gamma Ray's fine. Yeah, it's just it's fine. It's unfortunate. I agree. I agree completely. It is <sighs> just fine. Huh. How have you been doing otherwise, by the way? Uh, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Uh, I've been playing a lot of new stuff on the channel. I feel like both of us have been playing just new stuff overall on the channel mm. uh you've got the darkest dungeon 2 electric boogaloo uh that isn't actually darkest dungeon 2 but is darkest dungeon 1.5 uh how you've been enjoying it it seems pretty much exactly what you're saying which is darkest dungeon 1.5 it's very very similar gameplay loops although it does have like a more pronounced i would say strategic layer than darkest dungeon one does but i suspect darkest dungeon two will have an even more pronounced it's fine it's 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 pretty damn uh i have a little bit of a concern with the difficulty at the moment like it's i've, I've said before that it's kind of like early darkest dungeon to me it reminds me of when darkest dungeon was in early access and there are a lot of things they're tuned a little weird, so you kind of feel like, oh, that's unfair. Yeah. Otherwise, doing fine. Is I feel like a lot of a lot of uh, early Super Animal Royale. Oh, now that that's a game for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, I've been I've been enjoying that. Uh, one that I've been enjoying, and I know I don't see. I don't know if this is uh your style of game, but I've been playing a lot of Oxygen Not Included. It definitely is. Yeah, I, I did a series on ONI ages ago, back before the Steam update, I think. Gotcha. Uh, they they fully released now, which is very exciting, and I've been loving that game. I was a, I'm a huge RimWorld guy. Uh, RimWorld's one of my favorite games ever. Uh, so Oxygen yeah. Not Included is scratching that Colony Simulator itch, and it's really, really good. 
what about it at the moment do you appreciate in particular over RimWorld? Uh, see, this is going to be a weak answer, but simply the graphics. Mm -hmm. You know, RimWorld, while yeah. it's a very, very good game, it's definitely not the most exciting thing to watch because it's just kind of moving pixels on a screen, more or less. Um, yep. Oxygen not included. It's got that, you know, clay entertainment cuteness factor to it that mm -hmm. definitely just people watch one episode having no idea what Oxygen Not Included is, and they're hooked just because the gameplay loop is obviously very good, but, you know, games have to have that that catch in them to get people, uh... I just got a black chest out of friggin' nowhere in here that gave me Gilded Hydra. Okay. Ooh. That was very random, but I'm with it. Not... Not a great weapon. It's as not a great the, the it's robot not, Yeah. But to just get something out of the middle of freaking nowhere. Mm. And in comparison to what Damn. I have on this run, uh I'm not gonna complain. Entirely fair, entirely fair. It might be helpful. Especially it, you know if what? you were I'm using camera Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. That's that's a big part of my my fear here is that Gamma Ray may be my best gun. Shock Rounds is making mm. this pretty good as well. So. Okay, that's, that's starting to get to a reasonable damage kind of position. The kind of position that I'm like, what floor are you on? Uh, huh? Yeah, I, I'm assuming you're on the fourth floor already. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're going to actually just smack me uh, because I'm nowhere even close to getting the third floor done. So, and by nowhere close, I mean you, I did just find the boss, but you will smack yeah. me. The, look, the third floor was really mean. Like, I basically full completed it as well. I'm only new here to the fourth. Okay. Not that far apart. Okay. Well, then I, I will continue to believe that I have even the slightest bit of a chance in this one. Oh my god, dude. I, I might also just die as well. Um... Which would also not be good, but I suppose we'll it's we'll see. The cannon Balrog, how much health? Yeah, I know. I I had two HP going into him, and then got hit like immediately ah, on yeah. the fight. So I've been That's going like I've been going fast and out of control because I feel like I need to just to stay alive. I'm dead. So oh, refs. Rest in peace, friend. I will rest in peace. I am not going to restart my run. I'm just going to quick restart and do a random run because there's no way in hell you're losing and yours will be done in momentarily time frame. But that means that I can bug you about random things. So it's kind of a win-win for all members of the party involved. Uh, I was having a conversation with somebody the other day as people <laughs> do converse at times. And uh, we okay. started... we. <laughs> We started chatting about buffets. And I want to know... Phoebe, her sister. Not Phoebe and her sister. Uh, oh, dude, what the hell is her sister's name? Uh, Ursula. Ursula, that is exactly it. Uh, no, I'm not talking about hit friends star Phoebe Buffet. Uh, voiced by and played by Lisa Kudrow. I am talking about the beautiful selection of food laid out at a restaurant where you are able to eat at a large amount. What is your... Mm -hmm. First, what is your opinion of a buffet? My opinion is that they are places where you can eat large amounts of food. Uh, I'm about to disappoint you by, like, buffet culture ain't really that huge in other nations. Really? Yeah, like, like I would have to search to try and find a buffet. I mean, and I, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you, while the US does have several kinds of Phoebes out there, it's not like we are, like, every block is a buffet kind of thing. Um, but it is still you something... You say that, and yet I've, I've seen cartoons. <laughs> Every single cartoon has one reference in an episode to an all-you-can-eat buffet. 
See, and I, I suppose this might be one of those, like, just America meme things that buffets because, you know, the, the whole fat American thing. Which, I, I mean, we are fat, so this is beside the point. But I feel like in each given town, you're going to have, I don't know, maybe one or two buffet places. Mm-hmm. Then again, when, okay. when you I, say... I what is the biggest city in all of Australia, and I have to search. Yeah, I mean, and, and I suppose... I suppose in the end, this is a fair argument that we do, in fact, have more buffets than you. But no, I mean, I gotta ask, mm. have you been to a buffet? Because if you're not searching out a buffet, and they're rare, then I'm gonna assume that you've never been to one. I believe I may have been to one when I was younger, but it was only pizza. A pizza buffet. And I think it was actually a pizza hut. Oh. <laughs> all you can I eat think pizza, pizza hut. I think pizza huts in Australia used to have an all you can eat pizza butt. Uh, pizza butt. Buff a pizza butt. You can have exclusively the crust. <laughs> oh boy, that that is a really poor experience of a buffet. All you can eat pizza hut. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Also, uh, those were pizzas that were most likely laid out by the employees when they were cooked four and a half hours ago. Yeah, so yeah, just yeah. enjoyable experiences. All. Yeah. My favorite see, part is how long I get to spend with Salmonella afterward. <laughs> yeah. See, that's that's the issue with buffets. Um, see, now I I want to preface this by saying I am relatively pro most buffets but i also want to preface that by saying there is definitely a subsection of buffet that you do not want to do such as a pizza buffet as you brought up mm -hmm. um we have a pizza pizza buffet place in where i uh originate from i don't know if it's something that is just where i'm at or if it's a usa wide thing but it's called cc's pizza and i've heard of cc's pizza exactly yeah. Okay. Um, CC's Pizza is... I've been there once. It was terrible. Mm -hmm. I never will go back, and I'm pretty sure the one in my town got shut down for, like, health code violations and things like that. Um, that tracks. Yeah, so not, not great on that front. But, like, a nice hotel that has a buffet? Sign me up. I'm in. Mm. I, I always have the most optimistic like thought about those kinds of things when booking a hotel and it's like yeah i definitely want the continental breakfast i want to be able to go to the buffet i want to be able to do those kinds of things and then i'm never going to wake up at that time in the morning are you kidding me it's 2 p.m that i get up there's no food left whatsoever yeah i really wish that i could have been to those buffets. see and i i am actually it's funny you bring up continental breakfast because that's where that's where i shine i think if you give me a breakfast buffet I'm yours. Like, that's that's the best that's the best form of a buffet, because then it's like you know. What is your strap for a birthday? Birthday, yeah, breakfast. <laughs> it's a similar <laughs> enough word. What's your strap for a breakfast buffet? Uh, so where are you starting? You start with pancake. See now that that's where I mean you got you got so many options, and that's the beauty of a breakfast buffet. Because with a dinner buffet, it's like, you know, you're gonna have your various meats if you're a meat eater or you're gonna have your various carbs if you're not a meat eater with breakfast it's like even if you aren't a meat eater you the only real meats that they're serving at a breakfast buffet you know you got your bacon you got your sausage sometimes if you're at a real nice breakfast buffet you're gonna have a carving station of some sort usually like a ham mm -hmm. or or something along those lines i when i go to a breakfast buffet you have to you have to kind of wage how you're feeling in that morning because there's so many different kinds of breakfast. You know, at most breakfast buffets you're gonna have the omelet bar. Are you feeling an omelet? The issue is if you have an omelet, are you gonna fit anything else in your stomach? Okay, I, I'll present you with all of the parameters here. You just you. Okay, a friend of yours from high school just got married. <laughs> you are at this hotel. Uh, you're staying at this hotel the day after the reception, so you're a bit groggy, maybe a little bit hungover, but you've managed to make it to the breakfast. Okay. Maybe you're not feeling entirely grateful where. I mean, it was a wedding, like, just yesterday. 
Okay. What am what I going go for? for? What do you start with? Hmm. Uh, I think in that scenario, I mean, if I'm a little bit hungover. It was a church wedding, by the way, as well. <laughs> oh, just in case. That, oh, no. I, it I, was dude, a church wedding in particular. Completely changes it. Because if I'm hungover at a church wedding, yeah. we, we got we got all kinds of interesting scenarios now. Um, well, let's see. If I'm a little bit hungover, then I, I think you might have nailed it. I think I would be going straight for the pancakes. Pancakes, mm -hmm. waffles. Mm -hmm. You know, if this if we're talking like a stuffed French toast or something, sign me up for that like immediately. Ooh. I mean, any any form of stuffed French toast. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. it could be like French toast stuffed with poison. I'm probably still in as long as I'm getting like a cream yeah. cheese filling with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd probably go for the the carbs, pancake waffle French toast, but I'm not <laughs> missing out on. And this is going to sound lame when I say it, but one of the best parts of the breakfast buffet, all of the freaking fruit that they have. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yes. 100%. Yeah. I was going to do it if you didn't. Yeah. Like, give me the watermelon cantaloupe honeydew that's sitting in the thing. Give me the orange mm -hmm. slices cut in little smileys that I can just, you know, eat and live my life. Uh, give me yep. the, you know, kind of disgusting soft and very squishy grapes that you then bite into and you're like those are actually delicious grapes like I'm in down to clown till you're in the ground see but then there's also Pretty I mean sure. you have most breakfast buffets are going to do some form of pastry as well so then like mm -hmm. after you finish your already sweet pancakes waffles and french toast are you the kind of guy that goes for the pastry as well or is that just overkill no, it's never overkill. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm, if I okay. can fit stuff in my pockets while I'm walking <laughs> away from that continental bay, are you kidding me? You're absolutely mental if you think I'm not taking. Yeah, I'm gonna like... say three trench coats. <laughs> so you're you're definitely a uh, if they if they're offering a cinnamon roll, that cinnamon roll will be eaten at some point during that day. It might not be at that breakfast, but. You best know it'll get eaten. No, one will be eaten at the breakfast. <laughs> and then another and will then be eaten. And then I will also probably <laughs> take some for later. I mean, that's a cinnamon scroll. You didn't tell me what kind of I... barriers we were working with here. Look. That's, that's a full level above most normal If you're savings. at your Wait. religious friend's wedding and they offer you the ability to take either pancakes, waffles, or French toast or two cinnamon rolls, what do you do? Pancakes, waffles. Or French, and French toast. Or French or... toast. So one of or the three French or two cinnamon. cinnamon rolls. Ooh. Yeah, it's actually like a way harder question than I initially even wanted it to be. It's the cinnamon roll. I, dude, I actually am with you, I think. And it is definitely like a eat one now and then eat another later kind of. They keep better. Yeah. It's... I don't, I don't know what to tell you, but it's it's got to be the cinnamon rolls. Also, I never specified that the friend was religious. <laughs> just that it was a wedding in a church. The families are... Okay. Actually, the one would have been religious in particular as well. Okay. I still think that the, the point remains somewhat valid here, but teaches it. Yeah, but it does change my answer because <laughs> with that in mind, I think I actually might go for the pancakes in the... Now, why, without why getting political, why, why is this changing your mind? Oh, I feel like my day's going to be sweet enough. I see. That's the only way that I can answer that without <laughs> sounding bad to some. That's fair. All right. Well, and let's see. Where, where else can we dig into breakfast? Are you, are you an egg guy? Uh, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a six to 12 dozen <laughs> eggs a quarter second kind of guy. But That's fair. I, I can hang with what I would usually assume to be the best of them in the egg business. All right. I uh, can do a Florentine. I can do a Benedict. Oh, okay. So you're, you're getting into fancy egg styles here. Mm -hmm. If you're like, here's, here's, here's this question. You're going to a diner. Okay. And you're getting like that classic farmer's breakfast you're getting two eggs any style bacon or sausage and then toast maybe yep. also like some form of potato on the side
but what what combination of those things are you going for? What what style of your eggs? Bacon or sausage? Uh, what kind of toast? And preferred breakfast potato. Preferred breakfast? You have breakfast potatoes? Okay, so apparently that's... Yeah, okay, yeah, that okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. Hash browns. Okay, so but what else? Because I mean, you're saying that there is your preferred <laughs> breakfast... Yeah, so like we'll we'll sometimes just do like little tiny potato chunks, like kind of, kind of like if uh, kind of like uh, okay, look, these, these are the terminology here. I don't know, I don't know what you Aussies call it, but imagine uh -huh. basically a French fry, except it's just like a Minecraft block. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's um. I I think that's just like a very small tater tot. Yeah, yeah. See, tater tots have a little bit more like that artificial crispiness. You kind of you kind of okay. know what I'm saying with the artificial crispiness, where you're like, I'm trying to figure out how this got to this level of crispy as a potato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are just they 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 literally have the consistency of a French fry. It's just they're in small cubes. Okay, so when you were a kid, did you used to take like? like plastic straws and punch them into potatoes. You know, you do that? when you first said it, my brain went, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and then I talked through it in my head and I was like, you know what? This actually does sound familiar, but for the life of me, I cannot figure out a reason why I would do that. Uh, cause then you put your mouth to the other end of the straw and you shoot a very small chunk of potato at someone. Understandable. Okay. Yeah. Now, did you- I uh, imagine it would look wow. relatively similar to that in that it's a very, very <laughs> small kind of surface level chunk of a, of a regular- I, feel... I was going somewhere with it the entire time. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was alarmed where you were going to be fair, but, uh, I- So I think it's maybe a little bit bigger than your strawed potato chunk. But I think that okay. you're, I think you're on to something at least, and also on something. But that's beside the point. Um, here's another potato as a kid question. Did potato you have? Did... I mean, before that, I I'm gonna go scrambles. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I already asked you like six questions. Uh, yeah, scrambled sausage and uh. I don't know, multi-grain bread, toasted, buttered, and, and you know my starch. I'm just gonna go get fritter. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, that, that's a so respectable, very casual yeah. kind of low-key. The stars of that the the uh, the con. 100. That's that, that's a respectable combination. Um, only thing that I would really change is. Eggs definitely are going to be like an over easy, just so you got that runny yolk with the toast. But mm. I'm definitely a scrambled guy as well, so I'm I'm in on all fronts. That, that was a respectable combination. That said, pretty much I any combination you said could have been respectable for me. Yeah, it, it's a uh, disagreeable kind of food, right there. Yeah, I feel like most people like breakfast. Now, actually, here's here's a final. You have to be done with this run, right? Uh, I'm killing the lid. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Well, then one final question for you. Uh, because I've, I've made it back sure. to the fourth floor, uh, just standard, taking my time and stuff, so I figured you were, uh, you were long done. But, um, are you okay with breakfast for dinner? Because I feel like this is a, like, very controversial topic for some people. I am 100% okay. In this... Lit, but I'm on my, you know, just casually. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm also 100% breakfast or dinner. In, in fact, I literally had an omelet for dinner tonight. Um, mm -hmm. I know many many people though that are like breakfast. The whole point of breakfast is you eat it at breakfast, not at dinner. And I was like, you know what? Respectable opinion. However, uh, allow me to put in a counterpoint. You're wrong. Yes. Highly wrong. Are you kidding me? These yeah. these meals are too to be located in a single time of day. That's exactly how I feel. Like, so why would you don't want to have the ability to pick up a croissant at 3 p.m.? 
Yeah, I mean, you're just limiting yourself to a life of torture by not allowing yourself to eat breakfast after, you know, 10.30. Like... Hmm. Also, are these people just, like, never eat... Oh, oh, sorry, that's dinner food. You're not allowed to have that. I mean... I mean, look, I guess... I, I don't... would have it as dinner the next day. Yeah, I don't I don't question most people in life. You, you see, here's what you got to realize. The United States of America were a very opinionated culture. And it okay. comes out in my video. Yeah, it comes out in my videos and also in like every living soul in the USA. Yeah. <laughs> so when you say something along the lines of like, you know, hey, I think the sky's blue today. Somebody's going to come out of nowhere and be like, screw you, Rhapsody. The sky is, uh, it's, it's cerulean today. And you're gonna be like, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, that, that's a standard, that's a U.S. thing. That, that, that makes sense. I really like, like dogs. I can't believe. Yes. I entirely that's the U.S. in a nutshell. Dude, I died again on my run. I'm gonna be honest. This is called I Have Not Played Enter the Gungeon in, uh, in, in a hot minute. Played it low. Dude, Discord, my internet is so dead right now. Robin that, just shooting them. Oh my god, it is just Rhapsody the Robot right now. Quite literally with this run. Oh boy. Well, I'm gonna beat Boot Bus all the way to an moment. My name is Rhapsody. <laughs> His name has been Alexa. <laughs> oh my God. Raps, you gotta listen to the outro on this one <laughs> comes out. <laughs> it is just back and forth and back and forth. Have a good day, everybody, on my end, and uh, watch the view sync for Raps instead, is my best advice. See you around. Goodbye.